In this video, we'll talk about creating and formatting hard drive partitions. Though Windows Vista manages your entire hard drive as one partition by default, you can also divide your physical hard drive into partitions that Vista treats as separate hard drives. You may want to have one or more partitions to help protect your personal and or sensitive data, or you may want to have Windows Vista installed on one partition and another operating system, such as Linux, on another partition. Here's how you create and format hard drive partitions. Click the Start button, and then click Control Panel. Click the System and Maintenance link. Scroll down to the bottom of the Tools list. Under the Administrative Tools header, click the Create and Format Hard Disk Partitions link. Click the Continue button to open the Disk Management window. The window displays a list of all partitions on your hard drive. In this computer, there are three the system partition, the main partition that Vista calls drive C and recognizes as the primary partition, and an unallocated partition. The information in this list includes the status of the partition, the file format, capacity, and amount of free space. At the bottom you see a graphic representation of the physical hard drive and the removable CD-DVD drive. There is only one physical hard drive installed on this system, and the disk management window shows the partitions on that drive. The length of each box denotes the relative size of each partition. Drive C is the largest partition, so it is the largest box. Since there is no CD or DVD installed in Drive E, there is no information available. If you want to change the size of an existing partition to make more room for a new partition, right-click the partition box and then click Shrink Volume in the menu. Vista analyzes the amount of data it can shrink the volume, and the leftover space will go into the unallocated space. For now, click the Cancel button. You can create a partition in the unallocated space by right-clicking the unallocated box, and then clicking New Simple Volume in the menu. The new Simple Volume Wizard window appears, so you can create a simple volume. Click the Next button. Vista determines the size of the volume and places that in the Simple Volume Size in MB box. You can type a new size in this box, but the size must be larger than the minimum disk space number. In this example, that's 8 megabytes. Click the Next button. The default drive letter is the next letter after C, which is D. You can also mount the partition in an empty folder if your hard drive is formatted with the NT file system, or NTFS, or not assign a drive letter or path at all. I'll accept the default drive letter and click the Next button. I will format the volume with the NTFS file system, which is the default file system for Windows Vista, and click the Next button. The final step in the wizard lists the settings you selected. Click the Finish button to close the wizard. Vista formats the new partition and the unallocated box now becomes a new partition with the drive name D.